Hi Aries, welcome back to your channel. Um, this is going to be your no contact, okay? Oh, let's see. All right, guys, so this is going to be your no contact read. Um, if you're new here, welcome. And if you are returning to my channel, I welcome you guys back. You know, your diamond shine bright like a diamond. All right, so I'm going to get into a prayer, y'all, because we know we do pray here on the channel. So let's do that. Please don't forget to thumbs up your reads for me, y'all. That is how you support your channel. Okay. All right, let's pray. Heavenly Father, as I go along my day, I ask that you bless myself and I ask that you bless my secrets. Heavenly Father, please send your most powerful angels to take charge over this reading, using my body as a vessel, giving me the right words and the right messages that you want me to share with the ones that need to know. Heavenly Father, I do give you all the honor and all the praise in Jesus' name. We pray. Amen. All right, so this no contact. Um, just know that it is a general reading and not a personal one. It may or may not resonate with you guys. Please take what does resonate with you at this time and leave the absolute rest. You can pick up your person energy, um, whether it's a past person, a present person, or a future person. Um, the roles could be reversed. Just know that I could be saying he or she or him or who or whatever. Just take it as it resonates with you. Cross watchers, the absolute same goes for you as well, okay? Um... Now, I do have personal readings here, all right? I have a special that is going on at this present moment. Um, and be sure that you jump on this special because it will be for a limited time, you guys. All right, so I have a 30-minute read presently for $55. And then I have a 20-minute read for $45. And then I have a three-question spread um, that will last 10 minutes and that will be $25. So go ahead and, and set up your appointment for your personal read, okay? All right, so let's see what's coming true for your no contact at this time. I hope that you guys are having a blessed morning, evening, noon, or night. For me, you guys are in Florida um, with my sister here. So you'll be seeing a lot of the reads. Oh, something is in, his, in my eye. What is this? All right, so you'll be seeing many of your reads here in my room, okay? Something got into my eye, you guys. All right, so, yeah, it's a blessing, y'all. It is a blessing. All right. All right, what is the message for the no contact here? For Aries, please. Right, what's the message? What is the message that you want me to share with Aries at this time? What's the message for Aries at this time? Angels, what's the message for Aries at this time? What's the message? What's the message to Aries at this time? Okay. All right, so I'm getting an obsession here. All right, so someone is either obsessing, all right, the no contact. Someone is saying that um, there is some kind of a feeling of someone maybe obsessing or stalking or this person could be dealing with some kind of addiction or something, okay? I do feel like there's some mistakes that were made and no contact is telling me someone made a mistake here and they're very regretful for this mistake that was made. Someone either misunderstood a situation here or someone is either playing the victim I'm hearing lost soul, okay? So someone might have even lost their way here. Um, someone may be either chasing a dream here that's dealing with some kind of a toxicity that's attached to the energy. Now, this could be an energy that is coming towards you or moving farther away, but I'm hearing a resilience here. So someone is needing or it's going towards this or whatever this could be. All right, tell me more, angels. All right, so this is shallow. There's a shallow energy that is coming through. This shallow energy is giving me hollow. Hollow, empty, and boredom. So whatever is coming in here, this is what I'm feeling. If someone is walking on a heart fog here, the heart fog is giving me a mixed signal. This person may be giving you a mixed signal. This could be you or whatever the roles turn, all right? 
but I do feel like there's something that's been blocked for some of you guys. It could have been a blocked emotion or someone is just totally messed up, okay? Messed up or whatever it is that they're bringing towards you or this could be you bringing whatever towards them but someone is being rather mixed up here. Um, a fogged vision. Someone is maybe dealing with some kind of unsurety or whatever this could be, all right? What's coming in? All right, let's clarify these messages up for you guys. All right. All right, angels, clarify these messages, please. Aries, no contact. What is the no contact here for Aries energy? Aries and their person in separation or whatever this could be, right? What is the no contact energy that's coming through at this time? What is the no contact that's coming in towards Aries and their person? Aries and their person. What is the no contact? What's the no contact energy, please? All right, so we have the nine of cups in the reverse, the seven of pentacles in the reverse. And then we have the Empress here. Someone may be pregnant or want to become pregnant. Or someone maybe have um really starting to make some changes into whatever is coming towards them as a mistake or whatever is com coming towards them as a chasing energy. I feel like the Empress is really finding her way or his way, whatever this could be, all right? But someone is really wanting the stability and balance and everything else that comes with happiness here. Um, For some of you guys... Um, it is kind of hard to kind of walk away from something that's been attached to you or this is you attaching to something. I do feel like there's some kind of a resistance here. This could either be you resisting a situation that's coming in as very toxic or someone not ready to give you what you really want here as far as you being an empress, okay? As far as you being um, a goal setter, as far as you um, having... An abundance or needed an abundance or really praying to angels or spirit or your guides or whatever for this abundance here. Um, for some of you, I do feel like with the Nine of Cups being here in the reverse, I do feel like this person may have lost you or this could be you that has lost them. But someone is not ready because we do have the Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. I, whatever has been manifested or wanting to be manifested or someone thinking about planting seeds in a situation here, this could be a person who might have wanted to plant some seeds with you, uh, rebuild a relationship or rebuild a situation or just basically just trying something different, something new. I feel like, you know, something is not moving in the order which you might have thought that it would have walked or moved into because this person is simply not ready. Um, I do feel like for some of you may have really figured that this person is not ready at this time because your Empress energy chipped in. This is the authority that you're taking here. Um, <clears throat> with someone being uh, promiscuous or with someone being chasing other things, pursuing of toxicity and resilience here, I do feel like you're don't, you don't want to have a part of that. You don't want to have anything to do with that. Because I feel like for some of you guys, it might have already taken a lot of toll on your heart, on your spiritual journey for some of you, okay? Let's see here. Oh, the high priestess in the reverse. Oh, wow. Look at that. I'm not surprised that this came through because you know what? The Empress did come through. I do feel like for some of you, you're either kind of figuring out that this person is kind of fake or phony or whatever they could be, all right? You're feeling like you don't want to trust the situation. You don't want to trust another word that is coming out of this person's mouth anymore because you are kind of tapping into their energy. And why do I feel like this person is not liking that you're tapping into their energy here? This person is kind of livid, all right? Um, and because you're kind of getting kind of... A little bit of the, of the fact that you're kind of onto their move. You're kind of, for some of you guys, you're really onto the things that you feel like, you know, is not placing in their life. Um, you kind of feel like something is either off or kind of something is kind of waving. They know that you're onto them. You know what I'm saying? This, th this is not going as so they thought. They, so for some of you, this person might have thought that they had you like a puppet on a string, but the roles are reversed here. This person is not as smart as they think. 
Because what I do see is some abundance that's coming towards you here, okay? I see you manifesting your life. We have the Nine of Pentacles here. We have the Moon here. And we do have the Knight of uh, Pentacles, all right? I feel like you're all about making your money right now. I see you making your dreams coming through here, moving forward into a new beginning for some of you guys, a new chapter. Um, really asking angels to guide you. This is what I'm seeing you doing here. A massive uh, of abundance, changes, happiness, um, rebirth, okay? Um, ooh, la la. And it just goes on. I do feel like, though, um, you know, and just know that the roles, again, could be reversed because we have the Ace of Pentacles also in the reverse. And because we um, we have this Lover's card here and we do have the Three of Wands, that's in the reverse in the back of the deck, okay? What I am feeling here is that there's a situation that you can't force, though. For some of you guys, you have to know that because someone is just simply not ready, okay? And there's a reason for them not, not being ready because they're dealing with um, temptation here. Now, not only are they dealing with temptation, but there's also a situation where there's this third party temptation that is coming through. All right. Um, and because we have this two of wands also in the reverse, just know that um, whatever you say to this person is not registering. It's not it's not sinking in. It's not going through because you're stuck in the way that they see things for them and not for you. All right. Just go ahead and make peace with whatever you can make peace with because we have the two of swords here. The two of swords in the reverse, okay? And then we have the emperor here. I do feel like I see, you know, you trying to be successful or this could be them that wanted to be this way with you here. Um, I feel this person being very wise here, but they did make a solid mistake. The mistake is that um, they definitely tapped into this two of swords and turned it into reverse. Now they're trying to make peace with you, or this is you trying to make peace with them to turn a situation in the way that you might have wanted to be turned. But they have not learned their lesson. Why do I feel like this person is either going to jail or somebody's going to jail? Oh my goodness. I feel like I see somebody being locked up here. Now what I'm hearing is lies that's coming through here. We have the five of swords here. There's a lot of conflicts. That's here. There's a lot of disagreements that's coming through this five of swords. Okay. Um, and then we have the, the three of pentacles, the three of pentacles, the ace of swords in the reverse. All right. So there's definitely a delay that's coming in here. Um, this delay is tapping into this three of pentacles. Okay. So I feel like whatever you guys might have tried to fix, it wasn't fixed. It still went back into the moon here okay the moon being here is kind of i'm keeping a boat that's kind of rowing here but this boat is feeling to me like at this point because your person is kind of conflicted here and i'm getting this heart fog i feel like for some of you shouldn't share anything else at this moment okay especially bodily fluid because your person is kind of weighing their option here and you're going definitely going to be feeling overwhelmed okay overwhelming overburden because you're putting in a lot here and then you're feeling like you're not getting anything back let's see let's see what's really happening here all right so we have the pages of wands in the reverse the wheel and the two of swords again there's this there's this feeling of being conflicted here okay and stuck someone is feeling rather stuck here I don't see something changing for you guys, though, all right? Your no contact is giving me that someone is rather stuck. However, because this is the wheel, the wheel keeps turning, okay? And I feel like somebody is about to, le to learn something or not to learn, okay? It's the wheel is going back and forth. However, there's some kind of a luck that is coming in towards you here. You may be manifesting something here, but feeling a little bit scared or afraid to move forward to page of wands in the reverse. To clarify that, we have the... The King of Swords. So just know that this King of Swords is here. It's in the reverse. And so this person is not uh, moving swift enough, okay? Because their energy is low. Low vibration, high vibration. The high vibration is this Nine of Wands in the reverse. They're still struggling here, okay? And still trying to find their way um, to fix anything. If it can be fixed or saved. But for you, because your strength card is here with the Nine of Wands in the reverse... I do feel like it's time that you know that you can be able to fix yourself. Fix yourself before you can fix anything around you. 
it doesn't matter who it is, okay? Your no contact is giving me a power. Your no contact is giving me wisdom. Your no contact is letting me know that you need to trust your movement moving forward. Your no contact is having me feel like you need to fix the conflicts that you're surrounded with at present. Release what you cannot because it's taking a toll. It's taking a toll because this trend card is pulling in the Six of Pentacles. The Six of Pentacles have me feel like you have already shared a lot with this person or whatever it is that's, a con that's connected to your energy, past, present, or future. You have already shared enough here, okay? You have given all that you can. You have done all that you can for this person, but then the Three of Cups showed up in the reverse. Don't expect the unexpected, okay? Don't expect to be celebrated by this person because what it is, this person is being manipulative at this moment. The manipulative energy came towards you at the emperor. This person wasn't smart, okay? They made a massive decision here to try to control you is what they tried to do here, all right? They wasn't smart at that. They kind of went out on a limb and the limb broke the hell off and they fell on top of their head, okay? They might have even smashed their head wide open. Who the hell knows, okay? But at this point, somebody is not smart. Not smart. Now this emperor in the reverse did pull in this ace of pentacles, honey. Is what it pulled in. This is to clarify that you are on the right path, okay? For some of you, you're kind of wondering if you're on the right path, why you're... you're um why you're praying and why your prayer feels like they're not being answered here. Angels are definitely listening and they're definitely coming in to supply your needs, but you have to continue to manifest and you have to have hope because without hope and manifestation, it doesn't go together. Okay. You have to combine all together so that you will tap, tap, tap into the energy and pull what you need out so that you, way you will be happy. And so that way you will be able to have this strength because your strength card did come through, honey, the strength to kind of pull things back into the upright and go for your dreams and set those dreams those dreams into manifestation okay this is what you need to be doing all right so this is going to be your no contact after your no contact i'm going to go straight into your next 24 straight into your next 48 and then i think i'll give you guys a bonus if you guys are good if you guys thumbs up the reads when i post it i'll definitely give you guys a bonus okay all right my darlings i will see you in the next 24 See you later. Don't forget to seek first and you always find. Bye, guys.